Okay, we are working on our sixth and final stage. And we're gonna work on this part here. We will focus on getting that foam to look a little bit more real at the front and add a few little shimmers in the water. And we'll lighten up a little bit of the sand here and hopefully make it all just pop. I want it to be a tranquil piece based on this one here. It's not meant to be absolutely photo real with that, but the essence of it. I My ocean's a little bit darker, but I quite like that. I might come back and add more lighter tones through it. I might not, because it currently works for me. And we will soften some of these um, marks here. And that's going to be it. Predominantly, I'm going to be using a mid yellow a purple and white for the sand and i will also have a little bit of white which will be darker so i'm going to mix some of that with the uh, blue the phthalo blue um because i want it to be off white and then slowly lighten up where we get those foams once we've done that we'll then delicately bring some life and some of the sand will be scuffed back into that ocean to make it look like it's Turn a little bit or more transparent. Let's do this. I am really loving how that part is looking. Love, love, love. So the way I make my sand colour is yellow, purple and white. So we're going to take quite a bit of yellow because I want to warm up what we've been doing here. A little bit of purple. some white. If it's too yellow you add a little bit more purple. Too purple a little bit more yellow. Yeah, we're going to go with those colours. I'm just going to get the excess off. I can just keep adding more white and try and scuff some of this in. See if you think that's going too yellow. There you go. I've added a little bit of purple in there. We'll go back over the lines so that we white to that just directly on the canvas and scuff in here now don't want to be solid blocks at all and a little bit of green to show through you want a little bit on, dab a little bit off and scuff. It's a little bit too much there. water directly on there, not water, white. A 
mixed quite a bit up, so I'm going to start a new page in my art journal and I'll start with this as a base. purple to it now I mix it up on the canvas, I put it on but each time I'm adding colours I'm leaving a little bit to show through to make the sand look more alive and I'm still getting the ripples but I've just toned it down a little bit but you've got a nice little bit of warmth coming from that yellow and that was just by adding a little bit of purple again back through don't worry i can see where that line's meant to be for the first one back over this side and replicate what i've done there because i really like that So I went yellow and then I've added a little bit more purple to bring it more sand colour and then I'm had adding a little bit of white directly to the canvas while it's wet to mix it in which is helping me then gradiate between those lighter and darker colours and when your sand's not all perfect one colour so it helps with that, um, I want to say reality of, it's the same thing I've been saying, it just looks it. The less perfect it is, the more natural it looks. And we want this sand to look a bit uneven, like where the water's been flowing backwards. Uh, we don't want there to be necessarily any type pattern or anything like that but just a something to help trick the brain to think that water has been coming in and out and it's created nice little ripples there in that sand and i think we're almost done and then to darken this if you want to darken it you would add purple balance it out and yellow to make it more warmth or white to make it more lighter i always think it looks more like it's not being as wet maybe the sand's a little drier and softer So I'm diluting some of it out here to make it look a little bit flatter because this is where maybe the ocean's not quite reached for a while. And you can always let that dry and come back over it and scuffed over it again. Okay, 
Now what I'm going to do is mix a little bit darker now to put under where these waves are going to go. So that's going to add a lot more purple to it. Well, a lot more, pur more purple to it to make it deeper. Committed to that, it's okay. I want to put the white foam on there. You should start understanding where it is I'm trying to do, but I'm just going to add a little bit more lighter where the sand is. So I forgot to use my words from here in with the video. I think I got myself lost in the process because um, I wanted to keep tweaking something. So I got my big brush out again and I wanted to bring in a little bit lighter area as I get nearer the foreshore. I let it dry and then I come in and I scuff with um, some of the sand colour in there. But I wanted to come in with a bigger brush just because it's easier and you could tell from my previous video that you get those loose movements, it's smooth, it stops it creating waves and I bring in a few shades of lighter and darker but predominantly I lighten up that area which I really enjoy and that big brush that I'm using really helps. I think you get some control in that space so sorry I forgot to use my words but if you are watching this and you have watched my six um break five other breakdowns of this because this is a series of six thank you so much lost my words there didn't i again but thumbs up subscribe share comments always welcome let me know what you think to this format where i'm more or less doing voiceovers real-time painting and putting out big sections of it that's just to save you time but you're not it's not devaluing the process of what i'm doing and just add in some movement again into the ocean, slowly lightening it up because that's going to help me understand when I come back with those darker bits and the sand bits, where is it looking like? Potentially there's a little bit more movement or that sand coming um, towards the, the top part of the ocean. This is meeting the foreshore. Anyway, I'm having a cup of tea there. Don't worry people that don't like to hear people drink or see them drink. You don't see me do that much. I cut that out. Anyway, just graduating through some of the turquoise darker shades there and I come in and blend it in again uh, with a little bit of water on the end of my brush just so it's not as obvious. But I really enjoy the end result and the tones. What you will also see me doing when I start to come in with the foam, it starts off as a bluey white foam and I do it slightly lighter until it's pure white when I come round it on the third go because I normally do three three times so you saw me outlay it on the previous videos then I'll come and add a little bit of um, white with a little bit of blue in there I add a little bit more white until the final layer is full white you'll see me then come in and add some shadows and those shadows help with that 3d so you see me paint it in and then bring some foam over the top of it that's because you don't want it all to have an even shadow because it wouldn't be like that in reality uh, but when by creating that darker shadow when you come in there's little bits of white that cover parts of it up and not it really helps uh, from my perspective it it look like it is 3d and uh, I come in with my palette brush and you just see me tapping a tiny little bit of white on there and very, very little. And you just scuff it slightly on the canvas so that the bumps of the canvas pick it up and that'll leave little bits of speckle um, on your canvas which will help to give you that illusion of sparkling water. 
at the minute you just see me painting in my little bit of darker areas again just to give that illusion of that different tones in the ocean a little bit of water on my brush just to blend it in a little bit uh, so it wasn't so harsh and I really enjoyed that end result I love that back area uh, scuffing in the sand it's just a dance you do a dance with paint I've said this all the way through I work with it until I get it as I like it some people might be able to do it in the first shot and get it looking really well not for me I have to keep doing a dance and I think that's the beauty of it when you're passionate about art or learning that Yes, you might understand what you want to do and yes, you might have some skills, but a lot of it is keep working it until you're happy and don't be afraid to keep working it uh, because you always get a little bit of those tones coming through that was there before. And I think it adds to that depth and it takes your painting to a, a different level. I do overcommit with some of the sand in the ocean to start with, but that's okay because we're doing the dance. A lot of the foam will cover that up. Or if you do overcommit, you just come in with a little bit of um, blue again. I know you saw Alexa, me uh, play some music. Oh, I asked it to play some music then. Missed that out. She shut me up. I was a little bit shocked. I thought I was going to talk over my voiceover. <laughs> anyway, when you saw me painting out some of that sand there, it's because I didn't like how much I'd committed to those shadows, so I paint through it all, uh, just to the parts I don't like, but then bring the composition back over it again. This is where I'm talking about where you can see it's like a bluey white that I'm using, and I'm just uh, coming back in with where I think that lapping waves will be, uh, and that brings you back to the point where we're talking about I'll bring it back to... Um, until it's a perfect white but I really do enjoy this composition I learnt lots along the way and it was fun creating it uh, and I hope that you enjoyed this mini series but I'm going to love you and leave you with a voiceover I'm going to add a little bit of music so hopefully that you will relax and just watch my process um, as you can see chunks of it will be missing uh, but what I mean by that is you don't want to see me have to do the repetition over and over with some of these pieces but I wanted to keep enough material in there so you can see my process in real time and how I do it and I've just realized I've digressed again so on that bombshell have a wonderful evening thanks for hanging out with me if you haven't already consider giving me a subscribe and see me on my next video that I start creating I think I'm going to use some alcohol ink pens I'm going to explore those so hopefully you'll enjoy that all right Bye bye. Thank you for your support and happy weekend.
this done, but fresh eyes will also always help. The last thing I did was get my palette knife, dab a little bit of white on it, and just let it kiss the canvas so that it looks like there's a little bit of life and a little bit of speckle in there. But I'm really enjoying this. I hope you are too.